Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am on my GP placement. I'm actually on my lunch break right now, so I've managed to like run back home. Um, and I'm just literally gonna do a quick video on what's in my bag, what I take in my bag to GP placement. People don't do these types of videos anymore. I think my second ever YouTube video was a what's in my bag, second or third. One of the like one of my very 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 early videos on this channel was a what's in my bag i'll try and find it if it's still on here if i haven't like been ashamed and deleted it if i do find it i'll post it like you know one of those things somewhere but let's get right to it so the bag i take to placement at the moment depending on the placement is this little tommy hill figure bag um it's not actually i find it quite good you know, I don't really need that much stuff. This is actually more full than it would be normally, especially if I'm driving. Like if I'm driving somewhere, why do I need a big bag, really? So yeah, this is the bag that I take on placement. Um, I got this for myself for my 21st birthday. It's funny because my cousin calls it the, the bougie bag. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, it's so, so nice. One of my favorite bags. Um, the colour inside, it just, it just bangs, you know, it's a nice bag and when you walk in and you're walking around and it's just light and easy and it's got a strap that can make it cross body. Now maybe I'm just really daft but um, I haven't quite worked out how to adjust the straps, like it looks like it's adjustable there but it, it's quite fixed on the back. Anyway, I haven't worked out how to adjust the straps. If I work out how to adjust the straps, I may actually wear it as a crossbody bag because I have not worked that fun fact out. I don't wear it as a crossbody bag, but the option is there if you're cleverer than I am. So I'll just literally take stuff out. I haven't edited anything. I've literally come back from, from the GP, come back, had my lunch, and then thought, well, let me just quickly film this video whilst I'm here. The most important thing actually I carry in my bag you won't see because I'm filming on it and it's my iPad and it's just nice easy it literally slots right in here perfectly so I don't need to take huge books or you know when you've got because the iPad does a lot of that I don't need a laptop because the iPad does what a laptop would do yeah so my iPad's the most important thing you're not seeing it because that's what's filming me right now aside from the iPad we'll just start from the top <laughs> oh gosh so this is like a little headband I knitted this myself and because it's quite chilly now it's quite cold it's December so I literally put this on covers my ears I put it on like that I'm not even gonna put it on because I look a complete shambles when I have it on but I put it on it covers my ears and I have it on when I'm walking to the GP practice because it is so cold so 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 cold but yeah this is my little headband and I'm quite proud of it because I, I did knit it myself which is good uh, knitting is like my new <laughs> hobby my new favorite pastime uh, glasses I'm a new um, glass wearer I only started recently and I have a few a couple well, I have a few I have two pairs this is the pair that I wear most often out and about and then I have a pair that I drive with and it just stays in the car so yep and again, like the red, maybe I do have a favorite color. Hmm. But yeah, I think these are quite cute. That's how they look on. You've seen them, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen them, you've seen them on. Or if you know me in real life, you've seen them on. That's my glasses. Next is hand lotion. Like, my hands get so dry, so easily, so quick. I always carry hand lotion this is almost finished um, this is a this was part of a perfume set I love buying just the whole set because it turns out being maybe a similar cost of just the perfume itself um, and you also get like lotion that smells nice or a shampoo or something else so this was part of a set and it's the Narciso Rodriguez for her <laughs> um, but yeah so I carry this with me all of the time if I don't have this with me um, I would have maybe like a tub of E45 or something like that because my hands get so dry so easily so I always have this with I have something with me to lotion my hands next gloves again just for the wall keep my hands warm it's cold out now we're getting to the real stuff 
Oxford Clinical Handbook. Very easy. I use it a lot more often now. And again, borrowed from the library. I still have yet to actually buy one of these of my own. This is borrowed. If you want to buy me an Oxford Handbook as a graduation present, feel free. I would happily take it. But yeah, I have this. Stethoscope. This is literally like a Mary Poppins bag. Like, just keep pulling stuff out. Like, it's tiny, but it holds... Yeah, like that's the kind of size that it is. It's not very big at all. So stethoscope. And so my stethoscope is really, really, really old. It's a Lipman Classic 2. And apparently they don't sell these anymore. That's how old they are. Apparently they don't sell them anymore. So yeah, if you also want to buy me a stethoscope as a graduation present, I will also accept that. I'm making a list. Graduation gifts. Stethoscope. I have my ID badge, which I put my name on because, you know, why not? But it's got like my face and stuff on the other side. Soothers because I'm not trying to catch a cold. Mm -mm. And in GP, everyone is coughing. Everyone is coughing. Cough, 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 splutter, splutter, cough. Like soothers for me are the plug. There's a, this blackcurrant flavor is not my favorite, but there's a, um, a peach flavor, which I really like, but at I have these ones because those are the ones that I have. I'd rather have some soothers than none. So, yep. Yeah. And then, just an assortment of pens. Moving into the next compartment. I have my 2019 diary. I have loved using this diary. It's so good. So, it says, <laughs> New Year same me <laughs> so i love this um i love paper chase and all their kind of diaries and the quirky stuff this has lots of fun stuff it has like lovely little funny quotes and stuff on the inside i think it's great so i need to get a 2020 one actually but yeah new year same me that's this one my notebook is actually a plain rcgp notebook which i got at one of the conferences i went to i'm trying to think which gp conference i went to which i got this i got it from one of the gp conferences it was like a um in the package so basically i take notes like or make notes so instead of having a giant notebook i have this and it's great and i love stuff where there's no lines so it's not lined, it's plain, and I can just freehand, do what I want, make it colourful. If I have a tutorial, yep, so for example, this morning I was in baby clinic. Things like the immunisation schedule, I can just like note it down, two colours, it looks pretty and it's nice and easy. So I, I don't know, I really, I like this type of notebook. It's the perfect size for me, it's the perfect size to go into my bag. We're almost done perfume and it's the matching one to the um lotion so narcissus <laughs> always scared to say these things in case i say them wrong narciso rodriguez for her so it's just that one i think it smells quite nice it doesn't smell like me this is the first time this um is the first time i bought this so i tried it and i was like oh it smells interesting it's different so i bought it but it doesn't smell like me. I'm definitely more of an alien. I went through a few phases, but this doesn't smell like me. A friend of mine actually um, was like, no, this doesn't smell like you at all. So after I finished this one, I don't think I'll be repurchasing this. I'll be going back to what I'm used to and what actually I'm like, oh, that smells like me. That reminds me of me or reminds people of me. This doesn't. <laughs> We're almost at the bottom, um, some lip balm, just the same as my hands get dry, my lips also get dry, so I have some lip balm. A watch, because can't wear them, and I bought this watch for myself, my t so I have a 21st birthday present to myself, so just a basic Olivia Button watch, and my 25th birthday present to myself, isn't that something? But yeah, um, so because I can't wear it and I don't want to lose it, I tend to wear it when I'm out and about, so I'll just then take it off and put it in my bag when I'm not. Ooh, rubbish. Plasters, just because they were free from a little thing that I went to that the BMA was at, and these are so handy. Yeah, just random plasters. 
You never know when you're going to need a plaster. And that's it. The rest is all rubbish. So the good thing about this is, so this compartment comes out. It's like a little pouch. I don't tend to ever take it out. Um, if I'm going somewhere where I need... <laughs> That's so funny, there's a boarding pass in there. So yeah, I was going to say, if I'm going somewhere where I actually, like, maybe need an important section, I'll put stuff in that pouch. And the second one, the second zipped compartment, stays, it doesn't come out. Oh, and another boarding pass in there. Interesting. And yeah, that's it. The rest is, like, all rubbish. Like, these um, Clonel wipes, I use them to wipe my stethoscope. I always keep like one or two in my bag so that when I get home, I make sure my stethoscope is clean. Um, I do wipe my stethoscope in between patients too, but just when I get home, I want to remove every trace of the, the clinical area. <laughs> Especially like norovirus is going around, coughs and colds are going around. I have finals in a few months, like I'm not trying to get sick. It's just, it is what it is. All the stuff I've taken out is just like plain receipts, nothing exciting. Maybe you would have wanted to see those, but I don't know. Yeah, they're just receipts. And that's it. That's the bag. That's it, really. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Remby the Medic. I do like little quizzes every so often. Well, not every so often, I try and do them regularly, like once or twice a week. And it will just be like a random question, test your medical knowledge, you know, very all in good fun. So yeah, follow me for that. And let me know if you want any other videos, please comment down below. Like this video, we like likes, everyone likes likes, I like likes, so please like this video. <laughs> and I will see you in my next one. Bye!